Okay. So, neurology, upper limb. First things first, remember your mantra again. Inspection, tone, power, reflexes, sensation, coordination. Hi, I'm Rob, I'm one of the GPs here. Do you mind if I examine you? Okay, so what we're going to look at first of all, we're going to do an inspection. Now with inspection, you're looking at a few things. You want to look for wasting. You need to look for uh, fasciculations, which are brief myoclonic focal contractions and then relaxations of the muscle. And you also want to be looking for scars as well, whether they're surgical scars, whether they're traumatic scars, such as a stab mark. And what I want to see you all do is get down, just like in front of the examiner, and have a good look front and back. So you're always comparing left with right, and as you're going along, you're saying to the examiner, because you want to talk out loud, I'm looking for scars, I'm looking for fasciculations, I'm looking for anything that might give me an indication. Nice and quick, nice and slick, you don't need to do it for long. Next thing, you're moving on to tone. Now tone can either be absent, it could be, uh, so that's hypotonia, or it could be hypertonia in the case of an upper motor neuron lesion, or it could just be absolutely normal. Now when you're checking tone, you always want to hold above and below the joint itself. So on Adele's hand here, what I'm going to do is hold just above. We're going to now check for tone around the wrist. I hold her hand, and it's really just in your mind, you could talk out loud, extension, flexion, uh, ulnar deviation, radial deviation. Just nice and slick, so you're just moving it left to right. Next, moving on to the elbow. Again, fix it above, fix it below. Flexion, extension, supination, pronation. Moving on to the shoulder, grip the hand underneath, hold on to the back of the elbow, and just go through the movements. Flexion, extension, external rotation, internal rotation, abduction, adduction. In real time, you're just doing this. And finally, circumduction. Always compare left with right, same again on this side. And then you're done. So that's tone done. Next thing we're going to look for power. Power is graded from zero to five. Power three is against gravity, so that's your focal point. Power zero is where the hand is flat on the bed or on Adele, and there's not even a contraction or a movement there at all. Power five obviously is absolutely normal. So we're checking this now. This is where your commands have got to be nice and clipped. So the first one we're going to check is abduction. So Adele, can you bring your arms up? Keep your arms up, don't let me push them down. Make sure you're pressing in the right place. You don't want to be checking there, because then you'll be moving this arm, look, moving around. This one you need to be pushing down. Good. Bring your arms down to the side. Now this is checking for adduction. Again, nice and clipped commands. Don't let me pull your arms out. Good. Next thing you want to be checking for biceps, so that's flexion. Hold in front of the hand, but below the wrist, because that would give you a false Hold on to the arm there, stand back, pull me towards you. Good. Next thing, hold the back of the shoulder, hand comes around the front, push me away. Excellent. Next thing, moving down to the hand, hold your hand just above the wrist, hands out wide, keep your hand there, Adele. Don't let me push you down. Good. Push down against my hand. Excellent. Fingers out wide, keep your fingers apart, and really this is just checking for the interosseous on both sides, remember your palm are interosseous and your dorsal interosseous will control abduction of your fingers or adduction of your fingers. Thumb up to the ceiling, don't let me push your thumb down, good. And finally, take this piece of paper between the thumb, don't let me pull a piece of paper out and your power is done. After power comes reflexes, inspection tone, power, reflexes, Reflexes, first of all we're going to check the biceps jerk, place your finger over the bicipital aponeurosis and press in tight so that you've got your stretch, then with a simple tap and all you're looking for, you probably won't get that but you'll get some movement. A positive result is either that the muscle itself twitches or that you can feel a contraction underneath the aponeurosis. Next pay attention round to the back of the elbow so you're looking at the tricep jerk, change your hand position on the tendon hammer and it's just a simple tap 
and you're looking for the horseshoe part of the triceps just to jerk it there. Next thing, moving down to the radius, take your finger, curl it over the top, have a close look at the hand, and it's a simple tap. And the positive response is where the hand will move. Always compare left with right. Next thing, moving on to sensation, we're going to do sharp pick and prick sensation first of all. So what you need is a neurological needle, never use a hypodermic needle. Use your testing place, which is always in the centre of the chest. Flip the patient to close your eyes, just close your eyes for me there Adele. I'm going to touch on your chest, tell me what it feels like. Sharp. So keep your eyes closed again so the patient never cheats. In Adele's case the top would be off and you're just touching from left to right. Can you feel that? What does it feel like? Sure. Does it feel the same in all areas? Yes. Moving all the way down to the hand just so that you're checking all the dermatomes. Still sharp? Yes. And again, if you think that the patient's trying to help you out here, you can also do one, miss one, and then just see what the response is. Hopefully she shouldn't respond at all. So that's sharp touch. Next thing is light touch. Tease a piece of cotton wool. Touch in the centre of the chest again. Close your eyes for me. Touch. What does that feel like? Tickling. So you use the patient's command, and exactly the same, you're moving from left to right. What does it feel like, Adele? Good. All the way down. Excellent. Inspection tone, power, reflexes, sensation is done. You can also use vibration sense in exactly the same way using a tendon hammer. Finally, coordination. Take your finger, so take your index finger, touch your nose, touch my finger. Backwards and forwards. Good. Do it again with the left hand. This is more cerebellar, but that's done. Upper limb, done. 